in the last uh, video we talked about the different energy levels no um, transition will take place if the energy of the photon does not match the separation between the different energy levels and the energy levels can be electronic vibrational rotational or in the presence of external magnetic field we can have spin energy levels in crystals we can talk about the translational energy levels but in molecules we don't talk about translational energy levels okay if you've seen the spectra this is an example of a spectra there's a this is a, um, a simulation but it can we might as well stand for the spectra of a real molecule so there's one um, absorption around uh, oh, I've, I've mixed I've switched it up I apologize for that so there's one this is uh, the one at 4150 wave numbers about 4150 wave numbers and then there's a very intense one at uh, 16 about 16,050 wave numbers so the height of each um, line talks about um, the intensity the taller the line the line the more intense that transition now the fact that there's a transition here shows that there are energy levels corresponding to that frequency the molecule can absorb a molecule corresponding the molecule can absorb a photon corresponding to that frequency so what makes some lines very tall what makes some lines short there is a line here that's going almost uh, unnoticeable so what makes all this happen so the intensity talks about how likely the transition will occur so we'll talk about three reasons first is the population of the state that is the state from which the transition is taking place so population talks about how many molecules are present in the initial state the second talks about this is really experimental animation in nature um, concentration or path length that is the, the the path length talks about the size of the cuvette used for the experiments concentration talks about how much of the sample is present and then this the third one that's mathematical or quantum mechanical in nature is the selection rule so we'll look at this one after the other so when we're talking about population of states from the word population we're talking about how many molecules are present in a particular state the average number of particles in that state the average number of molecules that are in the vibrational ground state or rotational ground state from which the transition will take place the higher the number of uh, molecules present in the initial state the more likely uh, a transition will take place from that state so the population of state is uh, dependent on its degeneracy that's gi and its energy level it also depends on the temperature in at absolute zero all ground states are populated but the moment you start increasing temperature higher states are populated the lower the energy the more likely the state will be populated so the degeneracy the degeneracy talks about the states that are present that have that same energy the more states you have the more room you have for uh, molecules populating that state <coughs> so if you have two states we can compare the ratio of their population you can derive this equation from here that's con just just considering population in states j and population in state i and 
deriving a relationship between the two states. So the ratio of a population and state i to that of state j is simply the ratio of their degeneracies multiplied by the exponential of the separation of the energies over kt, the separation of the two energies. So kt is called thermal energy. Again, the higher the temperature, the more likely a higher energy state will be populated. So the higher the temperature and the smaller the gap, the ratio will get closer to 1. But if the gap is high, the ratio will get closer to 0. Usually, when we're looking at the ratio of states, we're usually looking at it with respect to the ground states because the ground states will be populated at all times. Now, if this um, degeneracy is one for both states, which is in the case for vibrational and electronic states, then this equation reduces to this. So you will see GI and GJ has been taken up. <coughs> the equation that involves the degeneracy is important for rotational states. So we said that KT is the thermal energy which can be calculated at a different time. So we take an example. So this example says that an atmosphere at this temperature has just one, having just one entity. The first excited state is about 1.2 electron volts above the ground states. So we write out those parameters. Temperature is 6,000 Kelvin. So ground state is um, zero. And this excited state, so we've calculated it and converted that to joules. This excited state is doubly degenerate. No, the ground state is doubly degenerate and the excited state is sixfold degenerate. Assuming there is negligible population in the higher state, what's the ratio of N1 to N0? It's the ratio of the degeneracy multiplied by the exponential of the separation of energy over the thermal energy, which is about 0 0.294. If this energy were to be closer, this number would be higher. Or the temperature were to be higher, well, that's pretty a very high temperature anyway. I think there's another example in your note. Okay, it's also here. We're looking at vibrational states. Remember, we said vibrational states are usually singly degenerate. Calculate the relative number of uh, chlorine molecules in the ground and vibrational state at 298 and at 500 with this. Uh, frequency. So V is a, the, the wave number is that. We can calculate the energy separation using that. Uh, <coughs> so that's the vibrational, the, that's the energy. At 298, so once we calculate this energy separation, we can put it in this equation, substitute it for that's in the equation T at 298 K that's the Boltzmann constant so we have 0 0.067 at 298 increasing the temperature to 500 see what happens substitute it increases so the more you increase the energy the more likely um, the energy will be purple Later. So we'll continue in the next video with the next reason why there's a difference in intensity, which is in concentration and path length.